Um, this is not anything to do with the Talmud. I mean, it's not something that has to be done. It's a choice. Um, but there's something in, in this world that, that I'm presenting that is about family. It is about family. Family is a very strong issue there. And um, I don't know if it's faith, faithful to the world, it's faithful to the way I see the world. I'm not, I, all I do, is, I'm only a storyteller. I have no other claims. And I don't, I'm not trying to, I don't have an agenda more than just telling a story, which is the only thing I'm good at. I'm not good at any other political or, I don't know, religious statements. Uh, but it is, I think that the, the point that is really faithful to the world is the combination of, of sorrow, pain, and happiness together. The build up and the, and the, the fact that you can grasp all that together, this is very faithful. This I feel that we have uh, the tools to do that, and to, to, to be able to, to hold all of it together. That's the movie. The movie is about that. Before I became, became religious and after, I, I feel that everything is there. And everything that was done about the Orthodox world is about secular religious relationship. It's either someone wants to go in or someone wants to go out. And I felt that, that the Orthodox world is so interesting, doesn't need to with the secular. It could be very interesting and the drama can be very strong inside. So for me it was a statement um, to put it in a secular city, which is where I live, um, to talk about passion and without connecting it to, to a secular world. It's there and it's like it's not the scenery. The film is not about that. It's about the passion, relationship, love, choice of that world. It's very interesting because when I looked at the Orthodox uh, world 20 years ago, which didn't look like anything was inviting or uh, something I wanted, part of it was because that's the way I saw women. I thought they were seeing women the way I thought they were seeing women, but. I want to tell you that there's an industry of women doing films for women, about 20 of them a year, out of their own pockets. They shoot it, they write it, they produce it. They distribute it while they give birth, marrying children, and becoming grandparents. Okay? And they do it all. And it's amazing. Mega super women. <laughs> Nothing that I ever thought of. I think it's a bit, the way we read it is, is, is different because I'm no feminist. I'm not. I love my role as a woman. And I feel it's true. I chose it. It doesn't stop me from doing films. But the way I see the film between a, a man and a woman. I love it like, like this. Okay? It's more sexy. I think it's more sexy in my eyes. Um, but it's, it's not true. Women do. They do everything. I don't know how they do it. But they're super women. Um, I think that, 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 sh that Shira role she had in the film is choosing that she's a child and she's becoming a woman as the movie goes along but she's starting with a child going to the super watching this 18 year old half face and falling in love and now she has to go all the way to marry Yoko. That's the story. The story is about a, a girl becoming a woman in the oddest circumstances. Um, but the women, they're, they're amazing, amazing. <laughs> it's all about um, emotions and choices and what leads you to do what you do. And I was, I'm also young, but she, Shira is, uh, is different from 
Sylvia because she is not familiar with all these, these feelings she experienced for the first time. She didn't have the chance to see it elsewhere because she didn't see love stories or romantic films when she was young as I did. So she's very confused in understanding phenomenal 